Eight. We'll get there. Some ceremonies, uh, some ceremonies in German, uh, no, in German-speaking countries, used to include a figure of Jesus riding a donkey. In German-speaking countries, that's what they used to do. They call it Palmisel, and that means palm donkey. Hallelujah. If you go to the Holy Land, what do they do? Christian pilgrims in the Holy Land hold masses and processions retracing Jesus' triumphal entry. So they hold masses in the Holy Land. They hold different masses and they try to walk the road um, that led to Jesus' triumphal entry and um, leading to the Via Dolorosa and the crucifixion and they do that during the Holy Week. Now, worshippers carry palm fronds and olive branches, and they march from the top of the neighboring Mount Olives to Jerusalem's historic old city, which is home to the holy sites of the three Abrahamic faiths Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Now, in most Christian churches, the liturgy, the reading of the word of God, and the whole process of service. In most Christian churches, the liturgy begins with a blessing and procession of palms. But the prime attention is given to a lengthy reading of the passion story. In some churches with parts of, in some churches with parts of the branches, uh, now in some churches, Part of the branches are taking home and member, members of the congregation to serve as sacramentals. That is holy things. Now, some of these sacramentals, being the palm fruits that they take home, they burn. They burn them the following year because when they cut them, they are fresh. They take them home. They keep it for one year and burn them and then they use the ashes for Ash Wednesday. So this is all some history and some practices behind and around um, the triumphal entry of Jesus Christ into Jerusalem. Now, in the case of both the original crowd that was with Jesus as he entered Jerusalem and the ensuing Christian church, there is always been a missing link. There's always been a missing link. And that is what we're going to talk about today. The original crowd knew where in the Old Testament it was written and prophesied that Israel's king will be coming to her riding on a donkey and escort. But they did not understand it. But they did not understand it. They knew as Jesus rode on the donkey and escort and entered Jerusalem, the people who surrounded him, the big crowd, as they cut palm branches and, you know, threw them on the road and put their cross on the donkey for Jesus to ride on, they were quoting Zechariah chapter 9 and verse 9. They knew where it was prophesied. They knew where the prophecy was. But they did not understand it. Yes, they knew that the Bible says, Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, your king is coming to you. He is just and having salvation, lowly and riding on a donkey. A cult, the fool of a, of a, of a, of a donkey. Now, they did not understand this. In the case of the ensuing church, as I've already explained to you, something is done in the Holy Land different.